What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey, if we have not met yet, and this is William's Workshop. This is the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. We're gonna go with Centauri, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but in this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing of this printer, as well as giving you my first impressions, as well as going over some prints. Uh, I had a very interesting, and I'm gonna use the word interesting uh, lightly here, very interesting, uh, unboxing and first experience with this printer. So let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Alrighty guys, so this is Elegoo's first enclosed Core XY printer. Now, the reason that it's called the Carbon, there's actually going to be a Centauri, uh, it's just a regular Centauri, that they also are gonna have up for sale as well. So it's not gonna be an enclosed printer. So it is going to look very similar to like the Bamboo Lab P1P. I'm gonna be putting some pictures up here so you guys can see that. So with this one though, the reason that it's enclosed is it's gonna allow you to print with some more abrasive filaments and things that need some enclosure. So like your uh, PET Gs, uh, as well as your ASAs and your ABSs and some carbon fiber, hence the name Centauri Carbon. So, uh, but in today's video, I wanna talk about the unboxing experience. So my unboxing experience kind of sucked, I'm not gonna lie. When I got my printer, I first noticed that there was a hole on the side of the, the printer. And I was kind of like, eh, it is what it is, probably not that big of a deal. But then I opened it up and I could see that there is a big damage spot on the side. I believe it's just the, uh, the portion that is like kind of bolted on. So I am gonna reach out to Elegoo and see if they'll send me another like side panel, I guess is what they would call it. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the printer. I've ran it, no issues with it. Um, and I think everything's okay, but that was kind of my unboxing experience in, you know, like in the beginning. Now, when it comes to actually taking the printer out of the box, however, that was extremely easy to set up. It probably took me no more than 10 minutes and 10 minutes might be a little long. Like if I were just setting this up without a camera, it, I could have probably gotten it done in like seven minutes to get everything out, everything set up. It was probably the, one of the easier box unboxing experiences I've had. But really what you do is you take everything out of the box, standard procedures, you add on the, um, the screen, you take out the packaging that's in the middle of it, take off the uh, plastic that's on the, the front of the, the door, you add the screen on, and then you're pretty much ready to go as soon as you put your roll on the side here. So let's actually start talking about this side piece and then we'll kind of make our way over. So Elegoo did an awesome thing by putting the roll of filament actually on the side and where you feed everything into the extruder is right here. So I had some, I don't wanna say concerns. It's a like, it's kind of weird where the hole is for the filament and kind of shoving everything and shoving the filament up into the hole and then through the extruder. And then also I am used to having a uh, a, a printer that has a button that says, you know, upload filament or uh, change out the filament. This one doesn't have it. You actually have to just heat the nozzle temperature up and then um, hit the down button on the on the touch screen. Touch screen does work fine, so I'm, there's no complaints there. I just don't love the fact that I got to, uh, that I have to push everything in, push the filament all the way over, heat up the nozzle temperature and then uh, you know, manually uh, feed the filament in. I don't think any of my other printers have it that way. So it is what it is, not a big deal. I wish there was a button that just said load filament, not a big deal. From there, let's talk about what you can actually print with. So on this build plate, I have a, a little Buddha, which we'll talk about that later. So we'll take that out, put this here. But this build plate is going to be a 256 by 256, and it's actually double-sided, which is kind of cool. So on the side A, you're able to print with your TPU, your ASA, uh, your ABSs, and then your carbon fiber, and then PETG as well. And it has like a textured surface on here. But then side B, which is kind of nice that they labeled it side B, but you know, it is what it is. That's uh, a smooth plate, and it's actually specialized for just PLA. So that's kind of a nice little touch that Elegoo did, and I'm happy with that. All right, so this, this Core XY is going to be able to reach up to speeds of 500 uh, millimeters per second. So definitely not the fastest printer out there, but definitely not the slowest either, kind of right in line with what you've been seeing some, from some of the bigger manufacturers. Now, moving on to the calibration of this, it does take about 25 minutes once you get everything out to actually go from updating the software and then adding your network. And then from there, it literally takes 25 minutes. I think I timed it, 25 or 23 minutes. I don't remember specifically. 
uh, to get everything calibrated before you can do your first print. So actually, I didn't even comment on this. Elegoo did not send me this printer. I paid for this myself 100%. Um, and uh, it's actually, I was watching Uncle Jesse's stream a couple of days ago on the 17th, I believe it was. And um, they were doing a live stream with Elegoo and I was able to hop right on there, buy one. I should have bought two because at $2.99, it's kind of crazy. Uh, so at $2.99, I should have bought two of them. I had two in my cart and I was like, you know what? Like, what if it sucks? I didn't think it was gonna suck, but I was like, let me just get one now and I'll get another one later. And as I was buying one, I was lucky enough to get one shipped out literally two days later, uh, actually one day later, and then arrived to my house uh, two days later. So technically this came on the 20th, which was yesterday. So three days until I got this printer, which is awesome. So Elegoo didn't send me the printer. However, they did send me some filament, um, which they didn't even know I was gonna, one, be making this video video, um, and two, uh, they didn't know that I was even buying up the, the printer. So I did uh, reach out to Elegoo and they sent me eight rolls of their new uh, PLA. So there's some PLA Plus, PLA Matte, um, and then some Rapid PLA all in here, a bunch of different colors. This Benchy was printed out in their ice blue, and then the Buddha was printed out in their um, beige, matte beige as well. So both of these, we'll, we'll get into the prints here in a second, but both of these uh, came out nice. I really love the, the color here. But I wanna talk about this filament for a second. So I am going to be starting a Discord, and I know a lot of people are excited about this. Uh, a ton of people have commented, hey, uh, you should start a Discord. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. We're starting a Discord. There is gonna be a link down below. It's gonna be a free Discord, but there's also a little, um, a little bonus for you guys who join within the first 10 days of it being live. So for everyone who joins within the first 10 days, we are going to be giving away four rolls of this PLA. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's make it five rolls. Five rolls of this um, PLA from Elegoo. All you have to do is join the Discord community down below. Uh, this video is gonna be releasing on February 20th, and it's going to uh, run until whatever 10 days is from today, because February is a small, a shorter month. So 10 days from when this video releases, uh, everyone who enters that Discord is gonna be put in to win. Uh, five winners are gonna be picked out, and we're gonna send you guys a roll of filament. So uh, good luck to everyone. Don't forget to join that Discord down below. And if you're getting something out of this video, if you could please hit the subscribe button as well, as well as give a thumbs up on the video. All right, so enough of the filament. Thanks to Elegoo for sending this out. But let's get back into the print. So the first thing I printed was this Benchy. It came out, I don't wanna say flawless, but pretty darn close to flawless. Don't see any issues. You can see some layer lines here towards the bottom, but other than that, one, this ice blue looks awesome. Uh, no stringing, you can see the overhangs here looks look really good no complaints there from there i did print out this tolerance toaster or whatever you want to call it uh the toaster came out fine as well um the only concerns actually i was shot this video twice and the first time i was playing with it i actually broke a piece right here I actually broke this piece off too uh but that is uh, partially i guess the printer's fault but also i was printing a matte pla which is actually the um the least durable PLA or the least durable filament that I've found. So I don't necessarily blame that on the printer, more so, you know, just the, the filament a little bit as well. But everything else, tolerances seem to work really good. So no complaints there. All right, from there, I did print this 3D test uh, for the overhangs and um, it came out good at about 70 degrees is where you started to see a little bit of overhang um, get messed up. but and then 80 was just, it still printed out and you could probably work with that um, if you were to push everything around, but that's kind of where you saw it really not be great. Uh, some of the lettering also wasn't that good, but the overhangs here for the bridging, the bridging came out great um, and uh, yeah, no stringing. This was, like I said, printed out in Elegoose filament, so I'm pretty sure they have everything um, dialed in for their filament. So that came out decent there. And then the next thing I printed was this little Buddha. The detail on this is really good. No complaints here. There's a little stringing under the ears. So this was printed at, uh, I wanna say tw in 23 minutes. So for, obviously the size of it's nothing crazy, but for the detail for 23 minutes, that was pretty solid. All right, now let's get into some pros and cons. So. Pros, first is gonna definitely be the price. At $2.99, like I said, I almost bought two of these. This is 
incredible. Most people thought this printer was going to come out around $500. And the reason they're calling it, you know, death to, de to bed slingers is, is because uh, at $299, I don't even think you can get an A1 from Bamboo. You, you can get an A1 Mini, but that's not going to even be comparison. It's not going to really even be a comparison here. Obviously, you guys might know or might not know, Elegoo does plan on doing a multicolor system as well, whether they call it an AMS or not. They are hinting at that being sometime in the next few months, but definitely before the end of the year. So that's exciting. Uh, and once that happens, if again, this holds up, this printer is going to, I'm never buying a P1S again. I'm just going to buy this because at half the price, um, this would make more sense, at least in my opinion, but we'll have to see. Uh, some other pros, uh, I like the size of the bed. It's standard, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I think the build quality of this is solid as well. I don't, uh, I don't think that there's any issues with like, I don't think it's metal, but it's like, a, I'm not sure what it is. Aluminum maybe, but it's a solid build quality for sure. And then the touchscreen works just as advertised. Nothing wrong with it. Very um, responsive as well when you're hitting on it. Another pro is going to be the print quality that I've been getting out of it. So I only had one print failure. I was trying to print out a birthday gift for my wife and it kept failing at the exact same spot. So I did send the same exact file over to the P1S to see if it was maybe the file or if it was the, um, the printer. And as of now, I think it was actually the printer. I don't know if it was a combination of the filament and the printer, but the P1S seems to be handling it well. Uh, I will say I didn't, I'm not using the same filament, so I will probably go back in and um, change out the filament and see if maybe it was the filament and not the printer. So I'll try and eliminate some variables there. But I ultimately, I think that uh, that was the one print failure I had. So other than that, the print quality has been really solid. Um, now let's get into the con side of things. The first is going to be obviously I got a big dent on the side, not really a con of the printer. Uh, ultimately, that's just unfortunately what happened in transit or in uh, transit. But one of the big cons for me is going to be this light that's in here. The light basically does nothing for the prints. And when you have the door closed and that little light on, you can barely see in. You do have to open the door. Uh, and the other reason why you can't really see in is because there's this like dark tint over the the glass panels as well. Not really sure why they did that, but ultimately I think that's my only two gripes, my only two cons of this printer because outside of that, I've been loving this printer so far. I'm actually upset I had to take it off because I wanted to just keep printing on it to see how the print quality is. But ultimately, I think it's a pretty solid printer. And for $299, definitely go down below. I don't have an affiliate link, but I will have it linked down below. Definitely check it out. I would say that the Centauri Carbon is worth every single penny. And uh, kind of up to you to see if you want to spend the money or not, but I would say it's absolutely worth it. So link down below if you want to pick up one yourself. Not an affiliate link. It would just help, uh, help you out with how... Uh, It'll just help you out without having to search, I guess, for the printer. I don't know. Uh, obviously, we're going to be doing a long-term extensive review of this, uh, and I will be talking about any you know failures, any good things, any bad things that come along with this. So that has been the unboxing and first impressions of the Centauri Carbon. First impressions is pretty solid, pretty solid printer. I was really, really excited when it came in and uh, still excited even after uh, some weird things with the printer. Um, but other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you are going to be uh, picking up one. And then also subscribe to the channel because it's the nice thing to do, just like Matt from Technical Tinkers always says. And uh, like I said, don't forget to join that Discord down below, especially if you're watching at this point. One, please make sure you're subscribed. And two, definitely join the Discord community. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.